It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Take a look at... Oh, hi everyone, and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai channel. You just caught me in the middle of working on my Norway spruce here and uh, getting into the, the festive spirit, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Christmas is, after all, just around the corner. So I went shopping the other day, and would you believe, I know I already have a Norway spruce, but I've picked up another miniature Christmas tree. So in this video, I thought I'd show you that and let's see what we can make out of it. So here we are guys, we're at home base. And just over here, we have Christmas trees. So these are all the miniature Christmas trees and uh, not a bad value, uh, 22, yeah, 22 quid. Not bad, all different sizes. So I'm hoping to get one of these to turn into a bonsai so we can see quite a nice thick trunk on that one. Uh, not a skinny one on that one, nice thick trunk on that one just in there. Some of these ones down here, kind of difficult to see, the, uh, there's quite a skinny trunk on that one. But yeah, nice selection of trees. These I imagine would be a fair bit more expensive because they're slightly larger, but what I'm hoping for is to grab one of these. So we did end up getting a tree in the end, it's just here. I got one, I tried to get one with a nice uh, thick trunk on it. I'm trying to sort of film on the move here because uh, I did ideally want to do more filming down by home base but the thing is with the traffic and the noise and customers and even on a rainy day like today, it's a, uh, quite a little spot here so let's just take a quick look and see what I picked up. So we can see from the tag it is a, sorry my bag's just slipping off my arm there, yeah we can see it is a, a living blue spruce. Uh, apparently these are 1.2 or 2 feet to uh, 40 to 60 centimeters, approximately in height, and I can believe that this tree is at least half a meter tall, which is fantastic. Uh, the reason why I chose this tree, and I'm filming this in the rain, so it's not, not the best day or time to be doing this, but it does have a very nice thick trunk. We can see just in here, nice thick trunk, plenty of branches coming off in all different directions, plenty of choice for branch, branch selection, and yeah, being a blue spruce, I like the look of this. I don't have a blue spruce, I have a Norway spruce and a Sitka spruce. So to have a blue spruce in the collection is gonna be fantastic. And for 22 pounds for a tree like this, fantastic deal. I think we'll take this back and see what we can do with it. Right, so we made it back home and this is the blue spruce. So I think what we do to get started, we'll take this netting off and take a better look at the branch structure and see what kind of a tree we have. But what you can see just in here, it's uh, quite a nice, quite a nice thick trunk on it, quite some nice branches, and that is the reason why I selected this tree when I was down in home base. So I think what we'll do, I just snip through here, we'll take this netting off, and hopefully this will reveal some nice branches that we'll be able to select and hopefully turn us into a nice miniature spruce tree. A blue spruce tree. So I think the netting just goes just in here. I'll wrap this round, just around the back like so. Just like that. And then I think if I take the, yeah, if I take it out the pot here, we can see the netting just goes around the, the root ball just in here. We'll take this off here. Just like that. I don't think we'll be needing this, so we'll pop that just down there for the minute. And I think we'll take a better look at what's in here. Ah, so this, we, it's a bit of water on here that's coming off. So we can see it's in another flower pot here, and there are roots coming out of the, the holes inside here, which is a good sign. Oh, also on this side, yeah, look at this. We have some nice roots coming out on this side. That is actually a very good sign because when I uh, picked up that uh, Norway spruce tree last or well, last Christmas time, you know, the Christmas of uh, 2022, I saw quite a few YouTubers putting out, you know, going down to their local uh, garden centres or garden nurseries and picking up these cheap spruce trees that were on offer for like 12, 15 pounds and pulling them out and they had really nice root systems on them. Well, when I did that to my one, the, it didn't have much of a root system. It's a big gnarly root ball with very few fine roots going off of it. So to have this blue spruce with roots like this, 
It's uh, excellent. Yes, it's, it's a brilliant sign. That's fantastic. So let's just put this just down here. We don't want that like that. And let's have a better look at some of these branches. So we can see we have a bit of a, looks as though this is a dead branch just in here that, well, I don't know, is that dead? It's hanging on for dear life, that one. So I might leave that. This is a dead branch here, which we don't want. There's nothing really on this side. So I'm thinking I might have to swing one of these branches around like that just to fill this void. I mean, I know you don't want an eye poker on your tree, but we have a very naked front here until you get up here. So if that branch there doesn't make it, there is a bit of growth on there, but that branch to me doesn't look very good. So we're either going to have to swing that one around. And again, that doesn't look very good. Yeah, that, that branch, I think they've pulled it up so hard that, you know, with the netting that that has come well, it's weakened that branch. So I, that might not survive that branch. And I'm a little bit skeptical over that one as to whether or not that one's going to survive. As for the others, I think if we just pull them down. You know, even if we do have to do away with that branch, we might be able to swing this one around. There is quite a nice branch around the other side, which we could use. Uh, so we should have quite a nice lower layer. Coming up the tree, we have some nice branches coming off in a from different, well, I say different angles. I mean, there is a bit of a cluster of branches coming around this section just here, but that's good because that gives us plenty of selection for what to do and how to style it going forward. And up top, there's yeah, very nice branches. I think I just take this tag off up here. We don't want that on there. Let's just reach up here and cut that off there. And also cut that this tag off here that just says uh, Living Bruce Bruce. And remove the netting, uh, outside home and water well. So yeah, it's a, it's a Christmas tree that you probably want to have inside over the festive period, but they say uh, have it outside. So yeah. I, I guess that's natural, you know, you do, you would want a tree outside, but it's a Christmas tree, you know, you would probably want that indoors. But I don't know, maybe I'm missing something there, but that seems a bit strange. But uh, that is the, the Blue Spruce Christmas tree. Oh, you know, this is actually um, just brought a good idea to my mind. So I think what I'm going to do, so many of you guys responded to the NABC Halloween challenge and uh, some of the ideas that you you came out with were brilliant. You, you took to that challenge in all different ways uh, that I, I didn't even think of, you know, what, way beyond what I imagined. And uh, just seeing all the different, you know, variations of videos and the, 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 the just the different ways that you approach a challenge was really fantastic. So seeing as though I just had, I've just bought this uh, Blue Spruce or Colorado Blue Spruce Christmas tree, why don't we do an NABC holiday challenge? So this is going to be a fun challenge, guys. So all you have to do is create a festive display. So whether or not you want to create a Christmas tree, you know, if you want to go do that and put tents around it and lights and a star or, or, or angel on top, you're more than welcome. If you uh, if you want to create like a Father Christmas scene and have uh, Father Christmas in his sleigh with uh, his, you know, being pulled by his reindeer and uh, yeah, maybe do something like that. Yeah, fantastic. Go for it, guys. I'd love to see that. Or of course, if you are if you don't celebrate Christmas and you're of a different faith, so maybe you celebrate Hanukkah, you know, you know, could create a display following that, that faith too. That'd be fantastic. So anybody who wants to take part, you're more than welcome. All you, need, you don't need a spruce tree, of course, you know, but it is, you know, sort of the iconic tree of Christmas. But of course, if you want to move away from a spruce tree and style another type of tree, you're more than welcome. And uh, all you need to do is well, it's, it's up to you, really. I'm going to leave this open. You can create whatever you want. You can uh, style a tree however you like, uh, just as long as it's in keeping with your festive traditions. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you what you do and what you create. Uh, the, the, the important thing is, though, the same as the Halloween challenge, if you do create a uh, an NABC uh, holiday uh, bonsai display, um, I do recommend that in your video description you you give my channel a shout out which is not another bonsai channel that'll just make it a lot easier for me to find your video and put it into the nabc holiday challenge playlist and also if you could put hashtag nabc all in capitals nabc holiday challenge 
uh, put that in your description as well and then that would just mean that all of the holiday challenge videos will all be linked up and they can all go in the playlist and be shared and people can enjoy them and go to that playlist and just see all the fantastic holiday holiday challenge um, bonsai displays that you guys do anyway guys i think i'll leave it there i really look forward to seeing what you guys create i uh, really look forward to seeing how you guys uh, respond to the nabc Hol holiday challenge and um yeah as always take it easy until next time i look forward to seeing what you guys create so yeah till next time have a great day and i'll catch you on the next one